welcome to uh, the Leavenworth. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we got to wake up a little bit. <laughs> got the points to make there, Mr. Jackson. <laughs> Keep playing that. I like it. <laughs> let's start this. All over. right. Let's take it from the top. <laughs> good, 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 good evening. Uh, Leavenworth Preservation Commission is in session for Wednesday, July the 11th. Um, we're meeting at 6, not at 5, but that's okay. Um, we have a quorum, looks like. Uh, so the next thing on our agenda is the uh, approval of the minutes from the June 6 meeting. Um, I had looked at the minutes and made a small correction. Um, we talked about Luigi's, uh, their awning thing, and your minutes didn't quite reflect that. It didn't say Luigi, so I think that we can get that corrected. Other than that, um, if, unless somebody else has got something, they can go ahead and approve the minutes as re redone. I'll just I move that the minutes be accepted with the necessary corrections. I'll second that. Okay, it's moved and second. We accept the minutes from the June 6th meeting as corrected. Um, begin voting with Mr. Parrish. Aye. 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 Okay, and that passes five to zero. Then. We have no old business, so we have some new business. Uh, a state uh, review for 202 Potawatomi, so I'll just call on Julie for the staff report, please. Okay, um, as you said, this is for 202 Potawatomi. Um, this is a property listed on the State Historic Register, and it's also been identified um, by city staff as a potential city-initiated demolition. Um, one of the activities that our Code Enforcement Office does is we use uh, federal funds and city funds to remove uh, blighted properties and this had been identified for that process. Um, since it is a registered historic property, uh, the State Preservation Office does require that the LPC review um, the, the proposed demolition prior to the City Commission taking action <coughs> on that. So the City Commission uh, considered this at uh, their meeting on June 26th, and they granted an extension for the property owner to work on the property until October 9th. So um, tonight, we're just here to kind of review the status of the property and to hear from the property owner about his plans for um, renovation and rehabilitation of this. So given that the City Commission um, gave an extension to October 9th, um, I'm suggesting that the, the Preservation Commission review this again at the regularly scheduled October 3rd LPC meeting after the owners had, had a chance to um, do some work on it and get some progress made and we can take action at that time. So I'm not looking for an action tonight. This is more just a review, um, get, get some uh, information from the property owner and give feedback to him as might be necessary. Okay, thank you so much, Julie. I <clears throat> decided to show up for the, uh, the regular city mm -hmm. commission meeting, um, especially knowing about this property coming up and uh, watch the process and indeed the the commission has given some time to the owner to work on it. So um, if anybody would like to speak, uh, please feel free to come up, use the microphone. Uh, I think the property owner is here. And if you'd like to tell us what's going on, that'd be great. Hello, I'm Ricky uh, Giles Jr. Um, I've been working on this house um, for a while, since the, I think 2015. It became, um, I became owner of it uh, in 2017. Um, a fire happened December 2016, um, a small fire. It didn't happen inside the house, it happened outside on the veranda right there. So while I was going, some mysterious fire happened. We was almost complete um, putting the drywall up in the kitchen, then we was done. But after that little fire, it pushed us back a little bit. Um, I talked to the historic committee, they said they wanted to see the windows so I, um, the front porch, porch was enclosed in so I took the front porch off and put the beams up so they could see the window. They wanted to see the lap siding. They said the lap siding, um, uh, if every all the tile was removed, it would be national, not just Kansas. Um, and I like to say I found somebody that can take the tile off too so I'm pushing to have it national. But uh, after the fire, the I guess the, the best of siding and that lead paint kind of saved the bones. So the bones of the house is good, the structure is good. It's just like probably 95% um, cosmetic and just a little structure. So 
Um, so that's what I'm working on now is having it uh, historic. Um, and she just don't own that area there. She owns a lot, um, two lots past that and this lot right here. So my intention is to put a privacy fence uh, around it um, and just have it historic. Because I believe it would be the only black historic home in uh, Leavenworth. Um, that's how I put the paper together to the commission. Um, I'm talking about grassroots, not military. Um, a grassroots uh, uh, historic. So I don't know too many black historic homes in Leavenworth. Um, and anyway, that's what I'm pushing for. Uh, and unfortunately, I got in a car accident last year, so I stopped kind of progress. But um, I had to change the weather head. I had to uh, fix the cellar. Um, the house got plumbing um, and got electricity and most of it. It even got Wi-Fi, you know. Um, but uh, the house, like I said, the bones is good, you know. Um, and I've been working on the inside. And it, um, also, I've been trying to get a grant. I put in for the um, uh, Heritage Trust Fund grant. But I kind of missed the meeting. Probably if I was there, I probably would have got maybe something. But that's what I was um, hoping on. Or the house probably would be more complete, you know. Uh, I have some money, but uh, I, I think the trust fund would have uh, put me over the edge and had it complete. But um, but overall, um, like I said, the bones are good. Um, like you wouldn't get rid of a Ferrari because the fender's messed up. You get it because the frame or the motor. But it's just uh, that little veranda back there and a little bit up the wall. Go up there. I could show you a little bit, um, but this whole ring is coming off. There's a dip right here. That shows it's added, but that whole thing's coming off. Um, and then we need to work on this right here because this is going to come out and it's hanging to the floor to me. Probably the floor too. The floor may be so. But this is, I think, what the city's main thing is. This little eyesore right here. So I got my. Uh, Mr. Giles, when was that an addition added at some time, or is that part of the original house, that little veranda? No. Um, see, and it's, it's kind of funny. When I did my research, no library had any information. My grandma had it all in her house in, a, in an area. And it is a part of, the, uh, I think, Chicago-style eye houses. And before, it was just one part. That's the original structure, uh -huh. and at some time that was added on. Okay. What, what's in that? In, what's inside that little structure part? Is that like a kitchen? Or? Okay. So you'd be able to take that off and maintain a kitchen in it. Uh huh. Okay. Maintain a kitchen because I was telling. Um, um, June 26th when I was here, um, a representative that's a historian, Ms. Candy Ruff, she went through the house with me and helped me with the paperwork. And she told me how pretty much how the house looked and what, you know, what they looked for in the historic homes and exactly how she thought it would look. So she helped me with, um, with this. 
And, an and another guy, like I said, June 26th was behind was Mr. Geiger because he was pouring the cement and I wanted my sidewalks. Mm -hmm. and I know Mr. Geiger did a lot for the community, especially the black community. So I said, um, um, I don't want to step on his toes. So I had him come up and he looked at it and he told me do what I got to do. And you know, and like, if you want to do it, go ahead and do it. it. It won't really hurt him. But I know since he was pouring the cement, I just didn't really want to step on his toes in a way. But in a way, I kind of feel like the city <coughs> has been not working with me, uh, uh, completing this house. Because when I went to go address this, you know, this sore, eyesore right here, they wanted me to do the sidewalks. And I thought this had more precedence. But um, so I did the sidewalks. Now, last year, so now I'm coming back towards this. And it then, right when spring started, I think they was hitting me with all kind of letters, but I never received them until I went to my house and seen it just stamped on my house. Then I contacted Miss Catherine, and she told me that's on a demolition list. So, do you, you, Have you got that all cleared up with the city as far as getting the correspondence? Because the city has to send out official paperwork, and they are, I mean, I don't understand why you're not getting it or didn't get it. Uh, no, have, have you rectified that with the city? Yeah, I rectified it to send it to my home in Lansing. Kansas. Okay. Um, you live but they were sitting. Okay. But they were sending it to my dad, who has the same uh, name. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have to use whatever property address is listed on county records. Right. And so, uh, once the county got that updated, then we can use that updated okay. address. But yeah. Okay. But, so you but, getting, um, got that all figured out now. So you're getting yeah, correspondence but, with the city. Okay. Yeah, but I figured the city would have that intact because when I was working on the sidewalks, it got established that I owned a, a resident because okay. the judge was sending the air paperwork to my dad so yeah are, are you the official owner now do i don't remember yes, that came up in the commission meeting yes, you sir. are the owner of uh -huh. record okay. and, and i put in a grant for it this november what november 17th yeah. and february came and i like i said i didn't i received zero grand dollars but i well let the, the heritage trust fund if you're pinning your hopes on that it's probably in my opinion anyway it's probably not going to happen i mean they don't they don't those are grants that are given to more public structures generally, I think. I think, I think you, I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't yeah. apply for it, but if, you, if, if you're if you really putting your all your hopes on getting that, I, 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 wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I'm aware of some more funds too, and, and like I said, I'm not broke, but I, I um, have some, uh, some more things I'm working on. And like I said, this house got a story to it, and it has the original paperwork. Yes. And like I said, the city don't even have the paperwork it has for, the, for that house. You know, I got them all the way to the sidewalks being built in 1874. And when the, the uh, land was just flat land, you know, and who it was purchased from, from the Indians, like the big long sheets of paper written in red. You know. So I, like I said, this house got a story to it. Yeah. And uh, not too many homes in Leavenworth had, had that. What, now, um, this, the commission gave you uh, some time till October uh, to get it fixed up, would they be satisfied so they can pull it off the demo list? Are, 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 are you comfortable with what's going on and be able to meet that deadline? Um, I'm a little, I'm a little comfortable with it, but I would probably like a little bit more time. But I'll see where we are, um, and and um, October, because like I said, it's been me doing all the sidewalk, cleaning up all the fire sure. damage, doing all the work, pretty much to it, except the electricity, you know. Uh, and the seller, but um, uh, I got some people, like I said, and got some uh, prices on what I need to do to have it to clear like the eyesore, you know, okay. that little okay. area right there. What What are you going to do with the with the asbestos shingles? You're going to leave those on, or you're going to take them yeah. off and try to get the clapboard back? Or? And, and see, here's what I was talking about. Like I said, with the city work uh, working with me, like I have some beautiful brick sidewalks that was adjacent right to the street. Yes. And they just cut it off. Like the, and, and the sidewalk does not lead to anywhere, but wheelchairs can get up on the beginning and the end, yeah. and we just sliced it. Um, but what was your question? What was your question again? The, about the siding of the house. Oh, yeah. Are you, you going to yeah. leave the asbestos and, up? And, or? Yeah, and that's why I said with the city, I went to the city and asked them, where can I bump this asbestos siding? Nobody knew anything. You know, nobody could tell me anything. Then uh, a week ago, I seen a, a house being destroyed uh, um, a block down from me. And I seen him taking the shingles off. And I'm like, um, and I got his name and address, and he said he can take it off by about 
this week or next week if I really want to do that. And I said, yeah, I'd like to do national and just instead of just state. So You're going to try and get it back to the Clafford siding. Yeah. You, you, haven't, so, you haven't thought anything about putting, like, vinyl siding on, have you? Yeah, I, I thought about that, but, you know, uh, you know it, I'm thinking it, about... It will lose all its historic value exactly. if you put vinyl siding exactly. on it. So but, I would encourage you not to do that. Yeah, but what I mean with the city working with me, they had to know somebody that took the shingles off and disposed of it. Uh, so I had because to, of the asbestos factor. Yes, sir. Yes, and so I went and I found out what company did that okay. and got the ad, the name. Sure. And he he said he'll do he'll knock that okay. off for a pretty good price. So. Okay. All right. Do you do you have Questions, any please? please. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, no, please. Do you have any problems with uh, kids or homeless people mm -hmm. trying to get in or around? Because you know it's very dangerous. Um, see, um, it don't show, I don't know if it shows the backlight. Um, Can I get you to take the microphone once you go up there? Because we just can't pick you up for the recording. The backlight, my grandmother had it come on as soon as the city light comes on. So, yeah, right here. So it got a big so bright it, light. It works. Yeah. And this, this needs to be updated because all this brush is going from all the fence, fences it's now. So, on here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so I don't have too many people around it. I know my um, family's kind of big and I, I know I used to work at the schools and those are all the children around that area so they keep an eye on the house mm -hmm. for me too. But when the fire started I believe I used to have the metal and all that stuff on here and I and I'm just thank somebody who came up and got all that metal or whatever and had a cigarette and just put it out and that's what it started on mm -hmm. here. Oh, so, okay. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. so now I don't, as you see I don't <laughs> put the trash here no more. So I have a question. Yeah, sure. um, you say you believe there's a story with the house, and you're having difficulty figuring out what the story is. Am I understanding mm -hmm. that? No, I know the story. You know the story. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got the original paperwork with me. Okay, right so here. you have it all. It's just a matter of compiling it and getting it to the National Historical Society so it can get on the registry. Is that correct? It's already on the registry. It but is I'm, on, it's I on the Kansas. It's on the Kansas, Kansas, Kansas but not national. national. Okay, if I, take, I, need, I just need a clarification. Yeah. If I take that. all the tie off, it's national. Okay, so mm -hmm. you want to go to the national, and mm -hmm. you're working on that. Okay. Yes. So I needed to know about that. Okay, have you um, ever gone to Topeka to the National Historical Center there? They're a wealth of information, and they can help you with information, especially about Leavenworth County. That might be a good area to go as well, and also um, KU to the Lawrence Library there as well. Um, I own a historical property, and that's where I started because there wasn't anything with ours mm -hmm. here in Leavenworth. Mm -hmm. So that might help you yeah. to be able to get that, you know, added ammunition to kind of move it forward to the national. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think my paperwork goes back to like 1814 to 1858, 60 when the house. You, you, you have the original abstract, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah so that's that's amazing. awesome. Mm -hmm. Many of those abstracts have disappeared mm -hmm. over the years. And, so it, you're and lucky it says. And they got the military person is from the Cherokee Indians, yeah. all that is on Amazing. Documented. So I have a couple more questions. I'm sorry, I'm like got no, copious please, notes go here. So what is your future <coughs> goal for the home since you live in Lansing? Do you want to live in it? Do you want to make it like more of a monumental where people can view it? Due to the fact that I work with kids, I think I want to, and my grandma, like I said, she helped veterans and she helped a lot of people. I want to, um, and she owns all that lot around it. I want to do something where... Um, I'm working with some of the kids, probably six to seventeen, sixteen-ish, and and expand the property because I think um, it got the it got the basketball. I mean, the park down there, the bus is right on our corner, and you know, it got downtown Leavenworth. I think it's a pretty therapeutic area, and the kids I work with is kind of hard place in them places. Just and I think a home is more therapeutic than a residential, you know, facility, even a group home. I think home where you can go out and come back in. Um, like I said, I've been working with kids pretty much all my life, and I've seen there's a need, you know, for a lot of kids with placement, you know, because they keep going around to the, the same facilities, and and I'm trying to, that's what my goal, my future goal is, you know. Is it Maybe, livable now? Excuse me? Is it livable now? I know cosmetically um, I, it's I, be, I believe it. I believe you can live in it, but, you know, to close everything up, because the, the plumbing works, there's like one toilet, um, there's electric, you know, uh, but I haven't did the windows or doors or nothing because I don't think it'll make sense if the construction ain't done. I don't want to 
scrape up the windows and doors unless everything was right. Yeah, I think that's part of what the city wants. They want the windows, the doors, um, that structure. They said the brush and some other things mm -hmm. done. So. And I understand that you're doing most of this yourself and it's self-funded. Do you have kind of like a six month goal? Like, okay, I'm gonna work on this. The next six months, I'm gonna work on this. Do you have that kind um, of? I kind of pretty much got a, got a goal, but she has a big yard and I don't know what it is, but it's, um, uh, a lot of elderly people I know know how to plant real good. As soon as it rains, it's things like a forest. So I, I do a lot of uh, yard maintenance, maintenance, cutting, trimming, and everything. Like I think the picture y'all had up there had the trees in the front because I was cutting the pine tree that was in front of the thing. So I try to mix it up and do some inside, some outside, some inside, some outside. But as for the structure, that's where I need this guy right here because I can read and Google and YouTube and know how to do all that stuff. But as for structure, uh, no, that's kind of hard for me. You know, I wouldn't even try to do that. And the roof and the structure, that's not my something I could just look at and do. Just my own personal opinion, I think it's just a great property to have for history. And it would be nice to see it get to its fruition mm -hmm. and be able to help the community. So just having maybe a timeline might be um, beneficial. But see, that got to do with money, because I did have a timeline. If I got that grant money, maybe it would sped everything up. So. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, like I said, um, I gotta thank, you know, I got kids, my house, kids come before this house, but I know that. Understandable. Yeah, I know that house needs the, that eyesore. That's my main thing, because I know that's what the city is looking for. And like I said, I've been working with the city. I even said, put them in the wheelchair ramps. They asked me, did I want to fight it? And I said, no, nah, go ahead and put them in. Um, and like I said, I'm willing like to work with the city, but I don't think the city has been working with me the way they have been approaching me with the house and just doing what they had to do. Cause I had to call the Topeka for them to not even touch my bricks. They said they was gonna do it. I said, no, nah. but I found out they was using federal money to destroy that property and, and kind of shut that whole, that whole, you know, the whole sidewalk down the North Leavenworth for about a week or two. So I feel like a lot of just coming at me, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong is because uh, I had some issues with the city before trying to tear them sidewalks up. Cause they start cutting and everything, the sidewalks, and even the most beautiful part of the sidewalk, you know, uh, what well, even out my permission. I've got a couple of concerns, if I could just uh, sure. tell them here. Uh, number one, there, there's properties in the area there that are well kept, they've done a good job keeping it up, and to have that particular property there hurts them also. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed there's one or two that are for sale right now. And my other concern is, I may be 100% wrong, I no longer have uh, historic property. We gave ours to the state or to the county, but that's gonna cost a lot of money. You know, whether you get a grant or something else, you're, you're talking big bucks. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that's my concern. I, I hope you, you go on with it and get it to fruition. And you know, it, it's a very, you know, with the story behind it, I think it's a, it's a good deal. Yeah. And if I could invite y'all to walk through it, y'all would know better than me just talking. Like I said, the wood floors don't even crack. And that's built like 1858 when you walk on them. Everything's solid in the house except that little area over there. The stairs stairs is very, very beautiful with all the craftsmanship. And like I said, the, like I said, Topeka walked through it with fire everywhere, things everywhere, and said yes, and deemed it historic. And like I said, I cleaned it now, and you can walk through it. Uh, have and, you and done a uh, price comparison and what it's going to actually cost you to get it back up to where mm -hmm. it should be? No, me and my friends, like I said, with drywall and all that stuff, I know that's probably about twenty, thirty thousand dollars. But we can do that ourselves. You know what I'm saying? All the things I could do myself, I usually do. The things I can't, I will outsource. But me and Mr. Wisdom, we are putting a plan together where we can just wipe through everything and. And almost like a business, this is me, but I got partners, I got my mom, I got my dad and other people that can invest too. So it's, it'd be nothing with five or six people behind it. So, and, and again, I'm one of them old school kids, I'm gonna do it by myself. If I need my mom and dad, I'll get them later. But you know, like I said, I'm, I'm okay with where I'm at now. I'm like 45 and I should have enough saved up. I got enough to start working on that, you know? 
and maybe getting a loan or something. But um, like I said, me and him we already discussed some things. I already found some doors and other things. Like this is a historic house. I just can't go and get a door and put it on it. You know, I found the right doors for him. The doors that, you know, when the police broke it down, I felt they could just bust the glass and unlock the door, but they just tore the door down like eight different places. So I got to get doors and pretty much windows. I know how to do that. You know, I got everything, and he's with the structure. So I got everything. That's why I said October, I believe, we can have that eyesore definitely done, you know. Well, let me just say this, Mr. Charles. The, the city commission has given you some time um, to get it fixed up. Um, I think our commission here uh, is rooting for you. I think everybody sitting here is probably saying, make it happen. Um, but... I will say the city commission will not give you, uh, you know, inordinate amounts of times to fix it because it is an eyesore and it needs to get fixed up. So you need to, you need to get on it. I mean, I think the city's given you some enough time. I'm, they might grant you another another few months if you, know, if you show if you show the commission that you're making good progress. But if it comes around October and there's not much to show for, um, that probably won't go over well and like I said originally I would not look at grant money I, I doubt seriously you're going to get any grant <coughs> money for this project because those are more public type buildings that rather than an individual structure and you know I drove by it uh, and you know the first thing I saw was the roof I said gosh the roof looks pretty good mm -hmm. I mean but it's other than that except for the the historical part of it and and the history of the community there, um, which is very important. Um, it doesn't have any redeeming value as it sits there now, except for that. And so I just encourage you to keep on keeping on. Uh, I'll thank you. Like I said, I, I had um, offers. People want to buy it and live it and fixing it up. Because uh, I think there's some people that work on the house that live on Explanade, and I, and I take them through the house. Anybody that wants to come through the house, and they want to fix it up themselves and live in it. Well, that's, um, but, that's they, but that's not, yeah, but like I said, yeah. Um, I'm just saying that sure. this is, like, I know I need to fix this, but the house is so strong and everything, the bones and everything. Um, but that's what I got Mr. Wisdom for, so he can help me clean that eyesore up. So can I address something to yes, Mr. Please. Wisdom then? Since you're the person that's going to help do that piece, okay, I'm like beyond real familiar with this house. Um, so I resided across the street from it from prior to 2012, prior to the fire, I was living across the street when all those things occurred. What I'm going to recommend and ask you, of you is, sir, is when you drive by it, I think, as you say, the bone of contention between yourself and the city is three quarters of your house has a has a reasonable presentation. It's that particular piece that I would recommend that you concentrate your efforts on because that that's one portion of it. And then a, a secondary portion of it is you indicated that the plumbing in the house is functioning. Is that correct? Everything is up to. Okay. Well, because when I okay no that portion. But when I read this the the profile of the, the location. The water hasn't been on in the residence for since 2015. And I know that that's, that, that again is a portion of the characteristics that have to be in place for, before something is determined on whether or not it's going to be on the demolish list. Because that, even though you're doing interior stuff, it's really that, that the eye candy, you know, the curb appeal of it that I would recommend, like, when you're looking at a couple of the slats that are in the top, I, I would hope that there's something that you could do, I mean, probably over the next couple of weeks, and then two things, um, maybe draw up something that, what your timeline uh, that she's asking about, just kind of going, uh, we're gonna start with this section and be able to present that to us, because right, as, as you explain it to me now, I hear what you're saying, but I'm hearing a lot about the interior piece. But what I'm trying to share with you from a preservation perspective, it's more so the emphasis is on the external portion of it. That's really your crux to making sure that that meets the guideline. We would all encourage you to get the interior 
going. But as you look at it there in that presentation right now, um, we know that there's asbestos and all those kinds of things in it. But I'm just saying that uh, I, that's one kind of my general question to you, sir, is that if, if you could maybe give me a rough ballpark on how many man hours you think it would take to just do some cosmetics on, on that particular piece, because right now that's my, my hiccup for you. And just to, just to back up just a little bit, you said, do I got a time frame? You know, I, got to do, I do have a time frame. You know, I talked to Mr. Wisdom. He said it would probably take three weeks to get that done. Three to five weeks. Yeah, and if, if, it, if they gave me the October 9th, you know, I can easily do the math, like when this pretty much start, you know. But here you go. Well, there, there's some structural, not much, as far as the fire got into it. And I, and I, I've worked on historical houses before. I get to tell you pretty much what we're going to have to go about replacing that. I think that portion of the roof has to come off for us to fix it because it, in that part we need to take the whole roof off, replace that roof, and then we're going to build a new porch on the back right here. Yes, sir. And then we're trying to, well, we're just trying to come up with funds and everything in order to go back to what cedar side and that back side and the tom to go back up that back side of that house. Help me understand, you're going to keep this addition and just repair the addition? Is that what right. I'm hearing? Okay, I thought I heard that you are going to just take it no. back off. No. No, okay, all right. Kind of what I'm seeing is we need to take off the roof part and what's back here that's caught on fire. Okay. And it's gotten in there. We need to replace all that, make that structure move back where it's where it needs to be. Okay. And fix the rafters or rafters or on two foot center and not put the code in all. Sure. Then we need the jet fixed in and we're gonna bring the porch out a little bit farther. Okay. To make it more structural and a heck of a lot better than what it was before. Okay. We need to get a hold of whoever we need to go up to make it back to I know there's certain things we can't do, we can't put vinyl, we can't do stuff like that. Right. Okay. We need to know exactly what you guys want. The city will, will be happy, I'm sure, to work with you if you have a question about what you can do or can't do to keep it in historical perspective. We, we have material that we can provide you that says you can't do this. You can't, I mean, like, say, maybe you're going to sandblast it. I, mean, I don't know why you would do that, but you, that, that doesn't fit the guidelines. There, there is a whole list of guidelines from the Secretary of it. Now I'm talking about the national uh, listing, but that would give you some good guidance as far as whatever you're going to do to make it to make it right. Yeah, because that was another thing we was working on, like the windows. I said the Union Station down there didn't look like that back in the days, but they got a lot of things updated, but it's still historic. So I was trying to see what can I do with these windows, because these windows really are environmentally unsafe if you take them down and got the lead paint and all that stuff can, but can you replace just the inside of them when well the windows are, are a big a big item on on restoration if those are the original windows you should try to work to preserve them don't don't slap some vinyl windows in and call it good because that won't that won't cut mustard the other thing that keeps coming to mind for me is if that back structure isn't the original structure and I'm just throwing this out here. Maybe if cost is an issue because you want to make that more elaborate, maybe just take it off and just repair the back of the house and worry about an addition later. Yeah, but then um, you got that area right there blocking it from rain coming right underneath the house, you, you know, right? You but know, but have you been quoted to see, like, plan A would be to keep the structure, plan B would be to take the structure off and repair it, and maybe which is the lesser and go with that right now and then have a plan in two years add the structure, two more years, you know, do this. Instead of trying to do it all at once, maybe it's just a little bit too all financially too much right now. Yeah, it, it makes sense, sir. I mean, that's kind of what we do with our house is we just do it in stages just to cut cost. So it's just an idea. All right, yeah.
Just a final for me, gentlemen. I, I think it would help us really if you guys maybe draft up something that kind of gives us a visual presentation that we can pass back and forth and just kind of go, sir, that this is the area you think you're going to begin with um, and kind of give us a little more defined guideline. It's good that you're expressing it to me verbally and I'm hearing a lot of that, but I'm, I'm kind of like from a, a tradition where if I sat down and I read through it, um, I'm, I'm looking at it as you're looking at it, not as I'm looking at it right now. I'm kind of now I'm looking at it from a, from a different perspective of, I know it's a lot of work and it's a great project, but I think when you're trying to elicit uh, funds from different folks, if you've got something laid out for them, like a rough schematic with some guesstimations on the spacings mm -hmm. and what the replacement cost. I don't want to really get into that much. I don't not, think. Not us, <coughs> Rick, but I'm just trying to help them come up with yeah, a but better what, presentation. That's yeah, what, what we need to do as, as a commission is we need to, we need to, uh, I think we'll take a motion to re-look at it on October 3rd, but uh, really the city commission is the driver here and they, the, these folks are trying their best to get it fixed up and I think the city can provide some guidance to them as far as what's good and what's not good from a historical perspective. Again, I would say to you, sir, I would not count on getting any grants because I don't think that will happen. Um, so I would plan without having grants. And if you got a grant, wow, that'd be like a bonus. Mm -hmm. um, but I think, I don't think to satisfy us, we need to get into, jump through a lot of hoops. Yeah. We need to get this eyesore fixed up so the city decides not to tear it down because they have the authority to do that and we're we're hoping they've given you an extension and if you if you get a lot of stuff going on it you show some progress it wouldn't be surprised me for the commission to say hey we'll give you another three months if you're getting close you know I, I don't I can't speak for the city commission but after watching their action here on the, on the uh, 26th of June I think they're sort of rooting for you too so mm -hmm. Besides, uh, besides us, yeah. but those are just my thoughts. Unless there's some other comments or concerns, so, I think we can move on down the road. Yeah, unless you have something else to say. Yeah, see, Mr. Mr. Barr, and that's what I was pretty much with the city. You know, when this fire happened, I was cleaning it up and addressing this area right here. But they was like, no, we want the sidewalks done. So I went to the side. That's what I'm saying. Don't Not saying that's anybody's fault. I'm just yeah. saying. That's what, don't know, worry that's about the sidewalks. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's, a, that's the least of anybody's concerns right mm -hmm. now, including, including the code people. Mm -hmm. the, the structure is what's, yeah. what's important. See, don't the, worry about those yeah. other things. But see, that's what they told me when I presented well, to them. They said the sidewalks. I'm not sure why they would have told you that, yeah. but that's neither mm -hmm. here nor there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, that's just yes, your please. Just, just my two cents worth is that um, I would just be concerned that we need to get this outside buttoned up for the city commission because I'm afraid if you spend all your time on the inside, you're going to waste all that money because they're not going to care what's on the yeah. inside if the outside isn't presentable. <coughs> so I would just say, you know, just please mm -hmm. focus on the outside first. Otherwise, you'll lose everything you've invested in it. Yeah, I'm yes, aware. yes. I'm well aware of that. Of that. But like I said, this house I grew up with, this is therapeutic to me. Sometimes I just go over there and clean. Sometimes I'll put the books. He, like I said, she's a historian. She loves to read, put the books together. I'm just not always working on something. But if he's working or I'm working, I want them to be able to use the restroom. And that's why I got the little plumbing. Then, you know, I want the electricity so they can use their tools. That's why I got that up to date. That's why. Okay. Anything else? Mr. Charles, anything else that you want to add before we wrap things up here? I really don't have anything. I'm just kind of waiting for them to get together and get some okay. so All right. Get okay. All right. I think once we get started, I think this would be a serious project pretty quick. That that'd be good. If you can get if you can make it look better in a short amount of time, I'm sure the city's gonna and I'm pushing with y'all. I'm pushing for like August. August. August would be good. August yeah. to start and get all that okay. what it needs done because I got the fees and everything I need. Okay. Yeah. And just the funding. Okay. If there are no further comments, then I would take a motion that we uh, uh, <coughs> review this again on the uh, our regular meeting of October the third. So moved. Second. 
Okay, it's been moved and seconded that we <coughs> review this property at 202 Pottawatomie at our next uh, preservation committee. Well, not the next one, but October the 3rd. Um, we take, take the voting uh, with Mr. Jackson. Aye. 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 Passes five to zero. Uh, there are nothing else uh, on the agenda particularly. Um, I would just ask uh, if we have any any updates at all on the Lee building, if we've heard any more. We've no. been actually trying to get a hold of the property owner and have not been successful in that so far. Um, I've been trying and the city manager's been trying as well, so we are okay. working on that. Okay. Um, yes. He is in town. That's what we've heard. Okay, <laughs> I'm just letting you know through the grapevine. I, I did drive by on the way up here tonight and there is a uh, utility trailer set out there. There's a dumpster trash. out front and the city's got some regulations about how long that dumpster can stay out there too. Yeah, so. I'm not sure if he's got a dumpster permit. Yeah. I would guess that he does. The yeah. building inspections are usually pretty quick if someone okay. has a dumpster right. out without a permit, so. Thank you for that information. Anything else for the good commission? Yes, Mr. Jackson. I just wanted to thank both of you for coming to represent what your project is because I'm I'm <clears throat> learning information about it so I can try to be extra supportive but I I have questions because I want to make sure that we're it, it keeping me informed on what it is that you're trying to do so I can attempt to a, assist you to the best but thank you both for coming because it there's there's questions when I look at it that yeah. you've answered yeah. <laughs> yeah. and that's really important I think thank you very much thank you Okay, uh, I'll take a motion to adjourn if there's nothing else. So moved. I second it. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 We will be adjourned. Thank you so much. <laughs>